Do you expect me to talk, Doctor? No, Bond, I expect you to die. Ha 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 she is still doing well, and this is her first official world... <laughs> I, I liked starting it this way, I was pretty entertained for doing it for show. And, uh, this is the first time that we are in Skyrim Redone officially. I had the little fun episode on uh, Thursday, which was meant to say, Hey, you know, uh, this is what it's like in Skyrim Redone, where we focused on things. But this time, Instead of just, you know, focusing on these things, I took it on and now this is real permadeath. And so, we have Empress Palpatine truly in danger, and so we will not be going into this place. Though I did for a moment and got this sweet fur hat. Hold on, let me let me get some light on Empress's face. I mean, this is a... I was look, thinking about how, like, man, we need more protection, but I looked at this hat and I'm like, this hat is exactly something that a traveler would wear. You know, just fur armor, it's cold out, totally under the radar exactly what Empress Palpatine is looking for. So I'm pretty, pretty for this. And we gotta get ourselves back to Windhelm. Look at this beautiful snow. I'm gonna take the freeze frame. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Anywho, so I happen to know that, uh, let's, let's take a point right now. I wanna look at our armor. I've done some leveling up of our skill points so that we can get better armor and the like. We're at 135. And typically, not till we're about 230 or 250, Will we be pretty comfortable and safe? We're on our way to getting that. Um, in clothing armor, because once again, Alpertine will not be wearing things that look particularly armor-esque. They have to kind of look like clothing-esque uh, a little bit. So, you know, robes and things work pretty well for that. And uh, fur armor works well for that. But none of the leather armors will work for that. And since we're heading for the Dark Brotherhood, I'm pretty confident that any of their sneaky stuff Although it looks kind of like, are you in a jumpsuit? Alright, so we had a little crash there. I don't know why that sometimes happens. Sometimes I, uh, I test this game a lot on my own stuff. And I think in this case, the reason why the crash showed up was just because, uh, you know, it was feeling it. And also this is a character that wasn't Skyrim Redone originally. And because uh, when I play the game on the character that started in Skyrim Redone, no problems. Just smooth as butter. So a couple crashes, but it would be like every hour or so. Hey, what's up? You, uh... I've been looking for you. So I'm gonna deliver my to hands only. God. Only. You know what? Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Yarl. A letter from the Yarl. Moving, moving up in the world, day. eh? Oh, uh, like hopefully it's somebody I'll get to kill go. one day. That's the plan. We gotta take him out. Huh, let's see. Letter from the Yarl of Falkreath. Let me introduce myself. Okay. Falkreath. We'll be in Falkreath. That happens to be where the uh, Brotherhood Sanctuary is. Huh. Alright, so we become a th potential Thane. Well, that's interesting. Perhaps we'd do something like that, except that uh, we're trying to kill all the Jarls, which, unfortunately, in Skyrim, I have to find a mod to do that, necessarily. But there's a couple guys that we do get. We get to take out the King in Dark Brotherhood, and we can take out a Jarl in uh, doing the military quests. So we'll at least get through those first. And if we get through those, congrats, Empress Palpatine. God, that's going to be tough. Oh, wow. And I'm really impressed at how easy it was to get back here. Like, I was expecting that we had, a, like, another episode trip to get here. But now, you know, it's like, da-da-da-da. Here we go. I don't know why my light armor just increased, but it did. <laughs> Maybe because I tripped. I stubbed my toe. That was the situation. All right, kiddo. I did it for you. <laughs> that she is. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just yeah, you did. I knew the Dark oh, look at those shadows. Me. It's pretty. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. You're welcome, Aventus Arantino. Arantino. All right. Now that that has happened, here is the letter that reminds everybody else is dead. Oh yeah, I also killed the nice lady. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give them time to, you know, clean up the mess. Yeah, I'd understand that being a problem, especially because, uh, I, oh, damn it, because I also killed the other woman. Actually, I mean, the guards killed the other woman. I simply encouraged her to get involved in the battle. So, now, we have let him know 
And uh, we can do the next part of the quest, which is to take a good nappy poo. Um, I'm standing in a fire. So we can go in here and do the nappy poo and get that started, or we could do some other stuff. Quick check. We, uh, we need to sell some stuff, so uh, I'm going to do a quick teleport and do that. And we are back. Yes. Okay, so I did a little bit of a... Uh, you know, housework. I got uh, some rings figured out. I accidentally picked up another sword I didn't mean to. Specifically, um, this other Magicka Saber. Uh, yellow. There we go. We don't need that right now. So we have a lot of, um, uh, like, staves, magical staves, and I haven't found anybody to sell them to yet, which is a bit of a pain. However, weight-wise, we're doing okay. We have about 100 pounds, so I can, I can handle that for the moment. Anyway, it took me long enough that, you, as you can see, I'm a little hungrier, I'm thirstier, I'm sleepy. So let's go ahead and get this Brotherhood thing going. Because, I mean, that's what we're here for. To get the killing as soon as possible. I'd like to rent a room. Thank you. Uh, if you see anybody walk into my room who looks all creepy, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's just part of the quest. So we'll sleep a good eight hours. But I don't think they let you actually get the sleep. I think you kind of wake up groggy when you do it. Let's see. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Well, that's awkward. Um. Yeah. I uh. Totally expected that um. We would be. I completed it. All right. Well, crap. In that case, uh, I'll have some water, and uh, we'll start doing some other stuff. Huh. Oh, well, goodbye. Town where I totally thought I would be able to start my battling as an evil person. Screw it. I think uh, perhaps Falkreath should be our adventure now. It'll be a long trip. Longer than Riften. Plenty of distance to cover. And it'll be good. It'll This will be set. Probably along the way, too, we're going to take a nap and someone's going to pick us up and we'll do Dark Brotherhood. So surprised it happened that way. We got the, like, reward and everything for doing the mission. I don't really get how the, like, what the starting of the game would be. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, borrow this horse. Thank you, friend. Tally- Ah, oh, that's a pull. Tally-ho! Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da! And we'll take the path that we were going down originally. I think that'll be good, but we'll veer off to the right, or much more of a, a western, I guess southwest direction will be the way to go. Hmm. You know, there was a, um, a, a house thing over here, and I didn't get a chance to murder as much. <gasps> so, you, uh, I'm guessing you can only talk to me off the horse. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. You're very tall for some reason. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Oh no. Creepy fella. Black robe. There we go. Oh, okay. Paid me a looks like Bo, we know. So there you go. That Oh wait, my horse! Ah shit! Dude, you made me lose my horse. Oh. Get back on the horse. There we go. Come on, horse. Though I guess technically I was about to murder everybody in this house anyway. Just, I want to, you know, I'm just, I, I'm itching for it. Plus, I really want to see how we can do against someone like, uh... Nope, sorry. Like one of these guards. They're going to be tough. And this is going to be dangerous, so we, I need to have an, an exit strategy. Well, let's start with someone simple. Nope, sorry. No. Hey, Courier, thank you for bringing this. You're going to be a little disappointed that you brought that to me, though. Oh my, couriers are immortal? Well, that's, all right, well, that's a little awkward. I did not know couriers were immortal. All right, well, let's, let's just leave him there then. Excuse us. Uh, don't mind the blood on my blade. Oh, hey, you two. An outsider. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. The mine's always on the verge of collapse. Good thing I'm around to keep it up. Wow. She just told me to get the hell out of here. Sorry. You can come off a bit rough at times. Hold on. Yep. Next time. 
Scooting over. Uh-oh. Apparently people saw that. Oh, I killed the last witness. Oh! Now I killed the last witness. There we go. Let's see, hold on. Since there's all these knives, everybody will think that they just all had a knife fight. And, um... Wow, the knife is floating with her. They all just had a knife fight. Careful with that. Did... Did you just tell me to be careful with the corpses? By the gods, this can't be happening. I know, it's insane. <laughs> terrible, terrible things have been happening here. Wow, look at all those rings. What do you have? Uh, a flagon? Nice. <laughs> Gold lockpick. Wow, look at all the rings everybody has. Man. Amethyst? Lockpick? Sack of flour? Silver. So, it seems... Oh, uh, what? You, you have no idea what happened. And now, oh, oh, wow. You know what? I'll take the water just in case. All right. Now, once again, everybody's gonna think there was just a giant knife fight, and everybody died in the knife fight. And one of the people was naked. Perfect. No one has to suspect a thing. Cheerio. Cheerio. Looks good. Wonderful place. <laughs> I, I wonder if I could sleep here now that, like, I've killed everybody. But let's not worry about that. <sighs> hey, it's the courier who I tried killing. How are you? Nope. Well. No. Oh! Do something. Oh, God. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. That was a powerful arrow. Whew. Apparently the guard is not as forgiving as the last guy was. Oh, okay, we are getting hurt, but we're just gonna make our way out of here. Whew. You missed, sucker! Ha-ha! Where'd he go? Oh, there I see him, I see him. We got some serious distance on him. See ya, sucker! Uh, yes. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, man, that one in the right hand? God, that looks, that's a sharp one. Hello, good sir. Pleasant evening, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. Hmm continue very good that was a nice little detour I needed to do some killing well there's a water wheel up there I think we should show the water wheels owners what's yeah cuz I don't want to hang out at this spider cave I think we should show the water wheel owners what's up and then uh, man these arrows are still in me I love it <laughs> it's just so brutal oh that's a lot faster than I expected oh spawn with the salmon there we go uh, made it. Okay. Oh, this... We know what we have to do. We find goats alive. We fill them with our lightning friends. Perfect. Very good. Alright, anybody hungry for goats? This way they will think I'm a good person. Damn it, it's not carrying a goat at all. Hello. Now, who owns the house with the bed? Because I'm not allowed to sleep in an owned bed, and I have a great way of ensuring that the bed isn't owned by anyone any longer. Hmm. Oh, just for funsies? I don't know if, if you guys have never done this. It's a lot of fun. You can do the lumber pile thing. She grabs a hook. She lit. How do you, like, lift a log like that? I guess if you, you, you know, angle it right, it'll work. But that's insane. Anyway, you hit, you put the log here. And, uh, you pull the switch. And away it goes. See? How, this is so cool. And it will actually cut the log. And uh, if I run into it, I won't die. Interesting. Interesting note. It doesn't kill me. But now it cuts through. Yeah, very good. Here, we're getting the best view possible. There we go. Continues the cut. And then split. I think that's a super cool effect. Hey, is this your house? I agree. Total idiots. Alright. So how effective is this um, thing now? Hold on. We got something important to try now. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you got stuck under the log. There we go. Up. Oh. You know, for some reason... Um, some, there we go. Some characters are significantly heavier than other characters. Alright. Okay. 
Man, this is just like that scene from Goldfinger in 007. And it's just like... Or no, I think it was Dr. No. I forget which one it was. Anyway. Do you expect me to talk, Doctor? No, Bond. I expect you to die. Ha 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 This is gonna take a little while. Oh, she's slipping off. She slipped off the log. Oh, no, she's going, but she's not gonna get cut. Young woman, get back on the log. There we go. Ha 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 Oh, alright, let's just take a nap. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people who are angry at me right now. Is that a guard? Yeah, no, it's, uh-oh. And they got crossbows. <laughs> yeah, they got crossbows. hey -o. Crossbows are crazy powerful. Um. Okay, as evidenced by that shot. Oh, that's not useful. Time to run. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Level up, that's good to see. Oh, man. Jeez, crossbow bolts of the shoulder. Crossbow bolts are incredibly powerful. They're basically... Uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate one if I'm able to get one. I, I don't know. Hold on, let's see if we can fury one of these guys. And then this should be the end. Whoop, that was close. There we go. Nope, nope. Nope, not again. All right, here we go. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Yes. Oh, goodness. You know, oh, there's another arrow. All right, Bob and weave. Bob and weave. So this can kill us. Just to just to make sure I'm very clear on this. What we're doing here is just like as easy as it was to take out that guard is just as easy for them to kill us too. I only see two guards right now though. So if I can get one of them angry at one another, we should be able to do this just fine. I see you. You're shooting here. All right. Boom. Oh, it worked. Nice. Oh, it hit me. He's dead though. Woo. Oh crap. Um. Time. You know what? Time for time for a level up. I think that'll be perfect timing. Jeez. So now our leveling up works a little differently too. If I select health, it's a. Uh, it went up 20! That's a ton! I did not expect that. Alright, uh, we have two perks to increase because every, like, five levels it gives you two perks. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. No re reason to go through that. Alright, here we go. Bob and weave! Bob and weave! Bob and weave! Ah! Brilliant! Alright. I'm too much to run. Well, that's fine because we're gonna just go take a nap. So, dudes! Boom! Empress Palpatine! She is taking names! I love it! Anyway, so, we now, we have the Dark Brotherhood's gonna happen. We've done a lot of murder, so they should accept us into their group now. And it's been fun! It's been good murder. I've been enjoying it. So, anyway, remember, if Empress Palpatine is killed, she is done, and we start a new character. So, if you have a character build, let me know down below. If you feel like I'm kind of out of character with Empress Palpatine, let me know that down below as well. And of course, lovely people, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you're new here, come and hit that subscribe button and join us to watch the fun later. So, uh, anyway, yeah, you guys are super cool, so may the ground rise to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.